everybody so it's currently like half six in the morning just getting ready to go to work and i'm super tired i feel like a zombie <laughs> wanna move my feet wanna drink my wine 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 Everybody. so just got back from work it is currently where's my phone i literally i swear i'm always just looking for my phone all the time so it's currently nearly 7 p.m and i'm just about to do my second day of the shreddy app i think i don't actually know what workout i've got today because i did booty um on the first day so let me have a quick look um so I've got a pool day today, which I'm actually quite excited for. I really do actually like training upper body now. Never used to. It used to just be legs, legs, legs. But now I actually do enjoy training upper body. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I look really gross, I'm sorry. I've had a whole day at work and yeah, not looking my best. But I'm going to get a quick workout in and see how it goes. I always find like at the end of the day, I don't work out the best. But I can't imagine getting up at 5am and doing a workout in the morning. So evening's just going to have to do, but I definitely love training more at the weekend just because I have more time, more energy and yeah, working full time, trying to fit everything in is not the way, but we just got to go with it. So anyway, let's go to the gym. I thought I'd show you what I'm going to make for tea as well. I think I'm just going to do something super simple. Um, but yeah, let's go to the gym. Let's hit a pool day and let's go. I can see you looking at me. just to get a few little bits well we actually went in there to get avocado but literally couldn't see avocado anywhere so just got some blueberries got some oh i've got this little like salady pasta pot thing look really nice i'm gonna take off my lunch tomorrow because it's currently already like 10 to 9 so not gonna have time to make anything apart from dinner so I also picked up these two because honestly they are amazing this one's a 70 percent cocoa and this is literally like unreal chocolate. So picked up two of those. Got some cubed ice as well. And I think that was basically it. So yeah, gym session was good. I actually really enjoyed doing the back session. I found like, I think it took us like about an hour overall. Um, but yeah, really did enjoy it. And like there's certain exercises that I haven't done in like the longest time. And it was quite good to like follow a plan to know like which exercises are coming up and like redoing exercises that I haven't done in like the longest time and basically forgotten about. So like bent over rows, I don't think I've done them in like ages. I mean to the gym in ages to be honest. He's slacking, yeah. <laughs> he joins in on the plan, so it's for nah, boy it's for boys too. So um oh, yeah, it wasn't bad workouts to be fair. No, it was good, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, so really enjoyed that. So now I'm gonna probably just make some poached eggs. And it was going to be avocado on toast, but probably just poached eggs on toast because literally it's already nine o'clock and I get up at like half six every single day. So need to get like at least eight hours sleeping as well. So 
<sighs> you gonna make me fake eggs and toast? Yeah, you're making them for me. <laughs> Can't get staff these Who days. Tea? Who made tea last night? Yeah, true, you did make tea last night. So you're not gonna make me poached eggs? No, you're making them. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're making poached eggs, not avocado on toast. I'm getting them for now. Okay. So I ended up having a shower, so that's why I look a little bit different, but I'm gonna make tea now. <laughs> Good. Does that look? Let's have a look. Oh. Yes, that's like perfect. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running around chasing you. Cause I got better, better things to do. Chasing somebody who loves me too. Everybody. So just got back from the gym just did today. I did my little leg session Which I absolutely loved but it's currently half eight and I still need to make dinner So I thought I'd do it with you. So we're gonna have um, well spaghetti bolognese But with pasta instead of spaghetti. So I'm gonna start making it very excited for this because I swear I haven't had like spaghetti bolognese or pasta bolognese for the longest time. So let's make it. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna try and follow a recipe, but yeah, we'll see. I'm pretty sure there is one in the Shreddy app, um, but I haven't actually probably looked at it, but I'm pretty sure like most spaghetti bolognese recipes are the same. Um, but sometimes I do like making it with corn mints, but um, other times I'll just make it with normal mints and today I'm just going to make it with normal mint. Yeah, there is one on here so I might just use that as a base and then add a few little things as well. Um, that's the thing I really like about this app is that you can like take the recipes and then change them up a little bit and kind of like adapt them to how you want it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, let's just get going. Can I use these little Don't baby peppers? Yeah. Look. Huh? You want them to eat them. Well yeah, but I didn't know if you wanted to like actually eat them or cut them up. Look how cute these little baby peppers are. Honestly, never seen something so cute in my life. <laughs> what? I love small. Have you never, ever seen those like really small bananas? Yeah. They're so cute. They always feed them to the monkeys in um, <laughs> Thailand. Really? Yeah, there's that place. Oh, Bali. Or is it Bali? Yeah, it's Bali. Like baby bananas. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I think these are so cute anyway. What I'd share that with you, you know. You never know, you might want to treat yourself to some baby peppers. <laughs> right, I can't be bothered to actually chop up the onions, so frozen onion it is. So I've just popped some onion into the pan. Chop up some baby peppers. Ooh, I could grate some carrot in there as well, that'd be well nice. Oh, like this one. oh these are so cute. It's a pepper. Yeah, but it's so cute. Have you been in um, MNF recently? No, why? Because they have that little tiny shop where it's like, all different, like mini, but it's like really small, mini versions of like all the stuff in like MNF, like Colin the Cat Fillers. You get like a little tiny trolley with it as well. Why would you want that? What? Why would you not want that? I knew it. No, it's like probably cute. Like Google it. Yeah, so like a doll's house. A doll's house? No, it's just like, I don't know, little like collectible items that honestly... So they're not real, they're plastic? I don't think so, no. What, you don't think No, they're not going to be real, because you can't... Why would you want to eat something that's like that well, small? That, that's what the point I was getting at. Yeah, no. They're literally like, I think you get like them free if you spend over like £30 on them less or something. I mean, I don't think you're actually meant to be putting peppers in bolognese, but... 
I mean, the more veggies, the better, in my opinion. Because I just think it would be really nice. Yeah, on my channel, we like to add extra health into everything. So that's why we're adding peppers, girls and boys. Right. So I've just added a little bit of pepper in there as well. I'm going to add some um, fry light coconut oil and then whack in this mint. So this is the recipe on the Shreddy app, super simple actually and love the ingredients, pretty much got all of those so I'm probably going to base my recipe on this but obviously don't, I'm not using vegan meatballs, I'm just using normal mints. Um, so yeah, also I think I'm going to put some red wine in it because a lot of people put red wine into their bolognese and it tastes amazing so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly grate some carrot just to pop in there. Also just going to add a little bit of garlic in there as well while this is cooking. Also just going to add a little bit of dried rosemary. And also a little bit of dried basil just because I feel like basil goes with anything good that's like tomatoey. Next going to add a little dash of soy sauce that's what it says in the shreddy recipe so that's what i'm going to add and i'm also just going to add a little bit of salt as well because it says that to add that as well so this is what it's looking like i'm going to add in the chopped tomatoes the wine and the carrots and then i think i'm just going to let it simmer another tin of chopped tomatoes and then this is the wine I'm going to be using so that's what it's looking like I'm just going to let it simmer well bring it back up to temperature then let it simmer for about 15 minutes and then obviously while I'm doing that I'll put the pasta on as well So this is what the bolognese is currently looking like and then the pasta is just boiling, well it was boiling, there you go, <laughs> um, boiling over here. So that's all the pasta cooked and that's all the bolognese. So I'm just going to dish this off and I'll show you what it looks like. That looks nice. Does it nice, doesn't it? It's a bit hot, sorry. <laughs> no, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Yay. So I've just finished having my dinner. Honestly, it was so good. I really enjoyed that. Got so much left over, so I'll probably have it for lunch tomorrow as well. Um, I love making meals that you can kind of like have for lunch the next day, just so I don't have to buy anything or make anything different. Just makes life so much easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so really enjoyed that. I've just also had a shower, hence why I look a little bit different and I still look really gross. <laughs> Sorry about that, no change there. Um, but I just sat at my computer now. I'm gonna do some work. What is the time? currently 12 minutes past 10 and honestly I feel like I haven't stopped yet I'm trying to get as much stuff as I can during the week and then have like the weekends off and also it's my 21st birthday next week so I'm so excited for that it's actually on a Tuesday and I've got the day off work and yeah I can't wait for that so kind of got stuff to look forward to so I'm just trying to get as much stuff as I done as I can done um prop's gonna go to sleep at like 11 ish I'm just gonna try and I'm currently just like editing the next point in the video and then putting it on youtube also got some stuff for my brushes to do as well tonight so i'm gonna do all that sort of stuff and then yeah go to sleep and also if you guys have never heard of my makeup brushes it's i'll show you them they're honestly the most beautiful makeup brushes i've ever seen and they're just kind of like my little like side business as such and yeah honestly i love them this is what they look like this is the instagram for them and i absolutely am in love with them so if you want to check them out it's just at jessica jane uk hey guys so it's now saturday i look a little bit more fresh a little bit more presentable so i want to give you a little rundown of my first week doing the shreddy app the shreddy challenge let's get shreddy whatever you want to call it and honestly it was so good like 
I didn't think I'd like following a plan that much because probably the whole like two, nearly three years I've been going gym, I haven't followed a plan. I kind of just done my own thing, made my own workouts, which does really work well for me. Um, but sometimes it is good to switch it up. And one of the main things I found was it kind of prompted me to do exercises that I hadn't done in like forever and kind of just like really reminded me of exercises that I kind of like forgotten about and didn't really include much um so that was a really good thing about it I think the app for me is I love the exercise side of it but the food side of it I have tried some of the recipes and kind of adapted them to my needs, what I like to eat, and that has worked really well for me. So the nutritional side of things and the food plan, the meal plan side of things, I've kind of not stuck to, but adapted some of the recipes, tried things out, and I'm so happy with how the actual workout plan is split out. So I'm on the lean muscle plan, and you do kind of like two leg days so you do booty and leg day and then you do push and pull and a full body workout so honestly it works so well for me and i'm super happy with um how achy i was afterwards like honestly i don't think i've been working out properly for the last couple of months because i haven't been this achy in so long i don't know whether it's because i've been doing different exercises and kind of like challenging and pushing myself a little bit more because i'm actually noting down obviously what weight i'm using and yeah i was skeptical because i kind of thought a app or a meal a meal plan or a workout plan or whatever was for someone that was kind of just getting into the gym so i've never really considered them that much apart from i tried like the tone and sculpt one and that didn't really work for me so i feel like this app is so suited to anyone like whether you're you've been to the gym for 10 years whether you've been to the gym for a week or you haven't even set foot in a gym ever before like it really gives you the confidence to kind of like up your game and get in the gym get that workout smashed and i love the fact that when i went to the gym it wasn't like i had to think what i was going to do i already had like set out what i was going to do and it kind of makes it it's also a little bit trickier when the gym's really busy because you can't kind of do it in the order that you want to um i found that and sometimes i had to wait a little bit longer for the equipment and stuff but honestly it was so nice like after a long day at work and i don't even get into like half six as you've probably seen and then by the time i've got to the gym it's like seven half seven and it's it's difficult and i i don't think people appreciate when you're at school and stuff how hard working life is and having something so simple like the shreddy app just to assist you in your life and basically tell you you need to go to the gym but you need to do this and after a whole day of thinking at work uh, the last thing i want to do is go to the gym and try and create workouts and try and think of the next thing to do like i just loved I've just absolutely loved this week just being like I'm gonna go to the gym I know what I need to do and just get it done because it makes life so much easier and it's also so satisfying ticking off like each day ticking off each exercise yeah so honestly I love it and also the community aspect of things like I've been chatting to like so many different girls and they've all been absolutely like lovely so motivating like having other people do it with you and i don't really go to the gym with anyone else i go with jasper we kind of don't really tend to work out together um we do occasionally but not like too often um so he actually joined in with one of the i think it was pool day he actually did the whole workout with me and he thought it was really good as well so it's not only for the girls it's for the boys definitely i'm treating the app as a guide rather than kind of like a holy grail this is what i have to do every single day because that that just is not going to work for me some people it might do but i love that the app you can kind of like tailor the app to how you want so you might just want to follow one of the workouts every single week or just do some of the real-time workouts i definitely need to do some of the real-time workouts because i was speaking to um, a couple of girls yesterday and they were saying that they are so challenging and so good and perfect to do at home when you don't have much time so i'm definitely going to try some of those um but yeah, overall, absolutely loving the app. Week two is going to be a tricky one because it's actually my 21st birthday on Tuesday. So it's it's going to be a little bit tricky because I don't think I'm going to go on my 21st birthday. I might go to the gym. It depends what time I get up. But I'm actually in London on Monday and I've got to get up at 4am on Monday because I've got to be in London for half eight. So yeah, it's going to be a long old day on monday then it's my birthday on tuesday then on wednesday i've got the day off work as well so it's kind of a chilled one so i probably will go 
fit in a gym session on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I might just carry on through the weekend because I've had quite a few rest days then. So anyway, I'll keep you updated and make sure you're all subscribed so you don't miss out on any more shreddy videos or any more kind of like vloggy style stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Bye.